read about the people in Revelation casting their crown before the Lord. I'm looking forward to a crown for obvious reasons. <laughs> Yesterday I felt surrounded by wolves. I looked this way, I looked that way. I saw all these beautiful heads of hair. All these brethren, they're going to have to wrestle with the pride of life. <laughs> and I looked down the aisle, and there's Brother Moore leaning out and grinning at me from ear to ear. Worrying a lot, aren't you? Worrying a lot. <laughs> Lost all that hair. <laughs> I told Brother Rivera, taking pictures, I said, hey, just lower that camera and bring it right across there, and nobody will ever know the difference. They probably wouldn't even recognize me when they see me. But look, a crown, when you get that crown, you think the Lord's going to have people walking around heaven saying, I did it my way, I got here by myself. I didn't listen to the word of the Lord. I didn't respond to the grace of God. I, I did this on my own. No, you're going to find a humble people because the fundamental principle in the kingdom of God is blessed is he that is poor in spirit. We will never get away from that premise. Never to be poor in spirit that will respond to the wonderful grace of the living God. Blessed be his name. Aren't you thankful for that? Oh, his great grace. Let's respond to it. Let's not walk away from this meeting and, and whatever else we receive today, tonight, and tomorrow with a, an attitude that won't respond. But let's walk away realizing the scale has been tipped. Let's bring forth fruit that's worthy. Worthy of what we have received and are receiving from the Lord. And when you're struggling in the midst of of your, your development, trying to strive towards perfection in Christ and come to that place of maturity and deliverance from sin. And you get a victory. Be sure you give God a thousand praises. Don't fall behind on your thanksgiving, but stay as up to date as you know how. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have found, even in the secular realm of psychology, that one of the fundamental ingredients that's lacking in neurotic people and people with mental health problems is an attitude of gratitude. They have found that. That's a fundamental thread that runs through all emotional problems in mental institutions and places where they're dealing with psychological problems is the common thread, the common denominator of all is they don't appreciate anything. You don't think God knows what he's doing when he tells us to be thankful? You just start being thankful and your depression might just fly out the window and never come back to bother you. Well, I don't have anything to be thankful for. You can't even live in America and say that. Now, boy, you be in the gospel too. You have the Lord in your, your, your life and your, the, side of, the other side of the scale is just full of forgiveness and mercy and grace and the baptism in the Spirit and as much filling of the Spirit as you want and the teaching of the Word of God and all these things. Lord, I don't have anything to be thankful for. Get your eye off of that tree and get it on all the other trees. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.